Hi everyone, it's Lena here, and in this short video, we'll look at how Minifreak's performance macros can be used to offer immediate, expressive control over your sounds. Let's dive in. Having a hands-on way to expressively control key aspects of a sound while performing can be the key to a musician finding their flow while playing a synth. For this video, we'll explore how we can make this gorgeous retro sound more expressive and playable using the macro sliders. To get started, let's open the macro edit mode by holding shift and pressing the macros button. To do the same in a Minifreak V, open the advanced view and enter the macro matrix tab. In this mode, any control we change on the front panel won't affect the sound. Instead, it will be assigned to the macro slider, which was last touched. Let's start by mapping the filter cutoff to macro 1. To map parameters in Minifreak V, simply press None, and then move any control highlighted in red. To delete, double press and pick the None option at the top of the list. We can assign up to four different controls to each macro, so let's add some noise with Oscillator 2 volume. We can also assign effect parameters. Let's try adding some extra delay. For this last slot, let's add a parameter that's not on the front panel. We do this by scrolling to an empty slot with the preset slash edit knob and clicking, then choosing the option we want. Let's go for vibrato amount. That's a pretty complex macro and we set it up really quickly, so you can see how easily you can expand your sounds. Another way macros are really helpful is being able to change a control by a small amount while performing, without having to worry about going too far. For instance, let's assign oscillator 1 wave to macro 2 by just a small amount to have a detune control. To change values of modulation in Minifreak V, increase the value with your mouse. That's nice, but quite subtle. So to finish, let's delete that assignment before adding some different ones to turn this pad into a more plucky sound. To delete an assignment, just scroll to it using preset slash edit, then press and hold the knob until it vanishes. Now let's assign the attack, glide and resonance controls to make a more plucky sound. That's a pretty different feeling sound. Now the fun comes from playing the two macros together, taking the sound to completely new places. 
Before we finish, let's have a listen to a few presets and play with the macros. Maybe you'll get some ideas for how you could use these controls on your own sounds. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this has shown you how the Mini Freaks performance macros not only bring the existing presets to life, but can be a great way to play your own sounds expressively. Don't forget to subscribe for more creative content and leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.